Today, we will take a glimpse into the life of a unique type of mollusk, the scaphopod, or commonly called the tusk shell. These elusive mollusks can be found in oceans around the world, but are seldom seen alive as they spend most of their lives buried in sand or mud. But here we will watch as these animals burrow in sediment and navigate their marine world. Our expedition around eastern Antarctica continues onward, accompanied by the sharp crack of breaking ice against the hull of our ship. Hundreds of meters below this layer of ice, we encounter an Antarctic scaphopod. This tusk shell is one of the larger species of scaphopod, known as Dentalium majorinum. It rests on the surface of the sand, an unusual predicament for these animals who spend most of their lives buried in the sediment. It must have been swept above ground, possibly by a passing fish. The tusk shell's long narrow shell has a hole on each end. The larger opening is called the ventral aperture. This is where the large foot of the mollusk extends out of the shell, dragging it forward as it looks for a new location to burrow. Scaphopods do not have eyes since they spend most of their life buried underground so it uses tactile and chemosensory cues to find a good location. The scaphopod seems to like this spot and begins to burrow. The scaphopod digs by projecting their narrow foot into the substrate, squeezing between the grains of sand and pushing them aside. This foot can extend quite far out of the shell, allowing it to reach deep into these sediments. Each side of the foot has a wing-like projection that can be opened, turning the piercing foot into a broad anchor, locking it in place. It can constrict the muscles of its body with a series of powerful pulls, dragging the rest of the body into the sand. This process is repeated over and over, bringing the tusk shell deeper and deeper into the sand bed. When it is fully submerged, this tusk shell will use a bundle of small tentacles called coptacula to hunt for microscopic foods. They are thought to primarily feed on a group of small microbes called foraminiferans. It is a set of crushing teeth called a radula that it will use to pulverize these captured microorganisms. The scaphopod is almost in place, inching forward just a little bit more. But he seems discontent. It went slightly too far. With one last push, the scaphopod is positioned just right with the tip of its shell peeking out of the sand. The top smaller opening of the shell is called the dorsal aperture. The dorsal aperture is used like a snorkel, projecting just out of the sand and pulling in fresh water for the scaphopod to breathe. Getting to see these scaphopods burrow in the sediment gives a newfound appreciation for these elusive animals. If you enjoyed learning about this tusk shell, please subscribe to join us as we venture further into the strange world of invertebrates around the Southern Ocean.